out on another night and yet another wattle neck soft shell. So obviously a decent time of year, uh, though I think I'm probably just getting a little bit lucky here in a little bit of a similar stretch that I've gone in the past couple of nights. But this is a nice close up of one on the move through the shallows into a deeper pool. Actually a deeper pool right next to me here which it's making its way into but tucked into its shell um, and stopped so decent chance to get some close up footage. You can kind of see here the head might be coming up just a little bit. See if we can get a little bit closer look. And yeah, you can kind of see the head coming out underwater there. But it's a little bit shy right now. So I can kind of give you an overview. And the head's going back in there, but these are really interesting soft shells. They have um, a pretty pronounced kind of hump right on the top of the front of the shell here. And then as you can see around the edges in the front and on the back, they've got uh, normally quite a few nodules that pop up. And from overhead, it's a little bit difficult to see always with the glare from the lights, but their shells are actually a bit kind of a mottled um, coloration and really does look like a river rock when it's in the water. The older ones like this one, this is a relatively mature specimen, are a little bit more gray and the juveniles are a little bit more brown and actually look quite a lot like these uh, river rocks you see in this kind of stream or even uh, decaying leaves at the bottom. But Pretty interesting species and you know these grow to a decent size as well I mean this one is um, nowhere near the biggest I've ever seen and you can kind of see here it's not really a small turtle by any means so really impressive that they can survive and actually thrive in these relatively fast flowing shallow rocky streams like this so this is a pretty solid find um, pretty happy with it we're about halfway through our walk tonight so, fingers crossed we'll come up with a few more things. The weather's real decent. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll check back in with you guys if we manage to find anything. All right, we've got our next snake of the night. And this time, it is a mountain water snake. So, these snakes are somewhat common in specific areas, uh, but they're a little bit regionalized or localized within Hong Kong. You can see this one's doing a little bit of a defensive display. Obviously, I'm uh, holding on to it uh, relatively loose here. It's actually wrapped around my hand itself, and I've just got my thumb touching my finger, but it's actually not putting any pressure on the snake. And it's decided to do this open mouth defensive display, which I actually haven't seen before in this species. Um, but they have a number of other defensive displays. They like to death roll, which is if you try and grab them, they kind of roll over and over. Uh, they're very bitey. They also musk pretty uh, extensively and it's pretty pungent um, and here now we have a new threat display with this kind of open mouth gaping um, but yeah these are a, a pretty robust snake and like I said their numbers can be quite strong where they're found uh, I find they're actually uh, maybe a little bit overlooked in terms of herping and things like that here because they can be I mean if you look at it's a little bit of a drab looking snake but there's actually some pretty interesting markings on them um, they have really long tails. When they're juveniles, they have beautiful red coloration. Um, it actually, this actually looks a little bit almost like a playing dead display, but not quite. Um, and yeah, actually a pretty interesting animal. Uh, and they get a decent size. This one's uh, probably a bit bigger than it looks. It may, it may be pushing a meter, a little bit shy of a meter. Um, you know, nose to tip of tail. But yeah, they're really interesting snakes. Heavily keeled scales as well and they really enjoy clear mountain streams. But pretty happy that we came across this, even though they're, they're not uncommon. Again, it's early in the year, so anything outside of a bamboo pit viper is uh, uh, something to film and celebrate. I still love the bamboos, but uh, nice to mix it up a little bit. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and let this one go and get back to our hike. But pretty cool, we still got a ways to go to get out, so hopefully we find some more stuff before we're done. Alright folks, we've got another snake, and we're quite close to the finish, so I'm assuming this will be our last one. 
but another common snake for Hong Kong, but one I haven't seen since last season. This is a white spotted slug snake. So this is one of two species of slug snakes here in Hong Kong, both from the genus Piraeus. This is the more common one. It can be found pretty much all over. And as the name indicates, they do eat slugs and more specifically and more commonly snails. So they actually have very well adapted jaws specifically for that task. And there is some discussion on their saliva having some sort of a um, effect on the snails as well, making it easier for them to pull them out of their shells. But very cool little snakes, very, very small, um, very inoffensive, pretty much never bite. Uh, they can musk a little bit. They have some defensive displays. They can ball up. They can play dead. Um, they squirm a little bit, but generally pretty docile snakes and always a fun find especially at the end of a long walk with not too many snakes. But I'm gonna grab a couple of photos of this one and then we are going to let it get on its way. All right, well, we'll either check back in with you guys if we find something else or on our next walk. Okay, everyone, we're out for another night. I'm here with a couple of buddies and we've literally just started our walk and we've come across this common blind snake. Uh, it's actually a fully grown, fully matured common blind snake. Um, this is about as big as they get. Um, I'll see if I can show you some scale here using my foot. Um, but yeah, we've seen a few of these in the last couple of videos, so I won't dwell, but this is our smallest species of snake in Hong Kong. And uh, seems like it's the time of year for them to start coming out, so. We're going to keep at it, and hopefully we've got some more interesting stuff this evening. And if we find something, we'll check back in. Alright, we've got our next snake of the night pretty soon after the first. Actually, this is the third snake. There's a small Anderson stream snake we were looking at. And while we were looking at that, one of our buddies noticed this mature mini-banded crate out on the move. So this is a pretty standard um, looking mature mini-banded crate. Uh, the head's quite blacked out. You're starting to see a little bit of um, yellowing around the neck. And as you saw with the others, they can be a little bit twitchy when they're nervous, which obviously me filming it like this is making it a little bit nervous, so we're not going to do this for too long, but a pretty cool find. Again, we're super early. We're still walking in, so not going to spend too much time here, but wanted to give you guys a look at this one. And we're going to keep moving, see if we can come up with anything else. A pretty cool find early on. All right, about two minutes down the path from the many banded crate, we have this reasonably sized female bamboo pit viper uh, set up in ambush. You can see her tail is stuck up in the tree here or in this little branch, and she's actually facing the trunk. It's a very typical setup for them. Uh, it makes it easier for them to target geckos and things that are running up the tree. So very, very cool spot. Nice, uh, vivid green as well. And you can tell this is a female because it's uh, quite a bit larger than the males will get. There's also an absence of a white stripe on the upper lip. And once you get a little bit more familiar with the species, you can kind of tell by the head shape as well. It's a bit more elongated and uh, deep set. So very cool find. We're going to keep moving. And uh, so far, pretty decent night. So hopefully there's a lot more to come. All right, uh, again, not too far down the path, and one of our crew managed to spot this really well-concealed mock viper sleeping in a tree. So this has been a feature on the vlog many times. I'll link a few of the videos where we've seen them here so you can get more detail. Uh, but these are a 
They're called rear fang mildly venomous. They actually have front fangs though, um, but the venom is quite mild. For humans, it's normally just a little bit of localized itching, um, but they're not dangerous at all. And they're called mock vipers because they do have some viper-like behaviors where they'll S up and flatten their heads a little bit. Um, normally diurnal. Uh, this one's obviously resting for the evening. And it's in a brown color, but they're actually highly variable. They can be orange and red and black and brown, uh, even yellow. Um, so really interesting snakes to find. This one's about sub-adult size, still pretty small. They get quite a bit bigger. But um, just as reference... Here's my hand. So we're gonna keep moving. Um, we're, we're still not to our official main starting point yet. So uh, really good snaking so far. Hopefully there'll be a few more. All right, everyone. We have our next find of the evening. And it's a pretty cool one. This is a sub-adult big-headed turtle. So this is a pretty crazy night so far. It's still early in the season, and we've had a bunch of snakes, and now, obviously, a big-headed turtle is a, a pretty amazing find. So really can't ask for too much more. Um, we're in a shallow section of the stream, so we're lucky enough to be able to film it. If it was in a deeper pool, obviously, it would be gone, but a um, little hard to focus through the water here, but pretty fantastic find. Um, we're going to watch it for a few minutes, see what it does, and I'll try and get some decent footage, uh, but just bear with me as I kind of follow it around here. Oh, here we go. Might get it climbing up a little bit if it comes to the edge. Oh, there's a look at the head. Really cool. This one still has some orange on the cheeks, actually. Really, really cool. All right, well, this one looks like it's going to keep hanging out here. So... We'll stop the video here. This is a, a quick and dirty one on a really fantastic turtle, but maybe I'll try and post some photos if I get any good ones here. And we're going to keep going. Everything seems to be on the move tonight, so hopefully we come up with some more cool stuff before we're done. All right, well, we've got our next snake of the night, and it's a diamondback water snake. It's a very common species around this area. We've shown these on the vlog before. I'll link a few videos here. But you can see here, they're uh, really ornate snakes with these uh, diamond-like patterns down their body uh, that wrap around all the way underneath, and really um, attractive kind of brick red color heads. I can get it to focus on the head. Um, and yeah, really, uh, really fun snakes. But uh, it's a kind of a long night here because we're finding so much. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. And we're going to keep on looking. So we'll check back in if we find something else. All right, we've got our next snake about 10 feet away from the diamondback. George here has found a nice little Anderson stream snake. This is one of the most common stream snakes here in Hong Kong. Uh, you can see here pretty drab color, olive uh, green on top with yellow ventrals. Uh, really inoffensive. They do musk, which this one's doing, um, but they really never bite. And yeah, they like these clear mountain water streams. So great find by George. We're going to go ahead and let this one go and keep on searching. Very solid night for snakes so far. All right, another diamond back and probably our last snake for the night. We're kind of at the end of our walk here, so this one may close us out. Nice little sub-adult. But yeah, it's been a pretty crazy night. We've been double-digit snakes. I actually haven't even been able to film all of them but super productive, turtles, snakes, pretty much everything you could ask for on a herp walk. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Then we're gonna sign off. We'll check back in if anything crazy happens on the walk out, of course. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next walk.
All right, we are very much on the walkout now, and we've spotted another snake, and this time it's a small bamboo with a big meal. Um, this is the second snake with a big meal in it we've seen um, in this stretch in the last couple days, so must be a good time for feeding. You can kind of see here the bulge and the banded interstitial skin on the bamboo, the black and white interstitial skin. It forms bands when the scales stretch apart like that. So pretty cool. We're walking out. Um, again, assuming this will close us off, but if not, we'll check back in.